My name is Josie Madison and I'm the editor of New York Archives Magazine and I wanted to talk a little bit about writing for New York Archives Magazine. So a lot of times authors find that writing for New York Archives allows them to promote a new book or to get their research to a broad audience of people who are interested in their work. We have some editorial guidelines on our website. Uh, the general idea is we look for short articles of about 1,800 words that are narrative and focus and that are based on research in archival records in any repository anywhere in the state. It just needs to be a repository somewhere in New York State. We also have departments that we run for every issue and one of those is archives around New York. So if you are an archivist working in a repository somewhere in New York State and you have a really great collection that you want people to know about and that you want researchers to know that they can access, you can submit an Archives Around New York article, which is about 800 words, and just talks about the repository and the collections that, that you hold. We also have a department called History in the Making, which is all about the process of doing history. Any sort of article that focuses on the process of history and how you uncover facts and information from sometimes sparse archival records is what we try to focus on in that department. And we also do something called parting shots, which is based on an image, a really great image from an archive somewhere, and then it just has a little bit of historical context. And we also do in their own words, which is based on a document from a repository somewhere in New York State with some historical context. So you don't have to be a historian or an academic to publish an article in, in New York Archives. We've had articles from people who are writing about their own research on their family history, or we've had graduate students. We even had one of our winning entries from the Student Research Awards in the high school category. One of the things that I love about this magazine is that we're able to publish print images in color and these images can do so much to bring a story to life. Another thing that, that we're very proud of about the magazine is that the graphic design work on this magazine has been recognized many, many times by the American Graphic Design Awards. And so last year, we were very proud to have this issue win the American Graphic Design Award in 2018. As an academic historian myself, I think there's often a struggle between the people who are doing the work in history and then getting it out there. And I think that this magazine really gives people an opportunity to get it out there. We're the most widely read periodical in New York State history and we have a subscriber list of over, over 3,000 people and the people who subscribe to the magazine, they stay with it. 